Well, hi everyone. I'm Ben from Australian Paramedical College, and it's my great pleasure today to be catching up with a former APC student and diploma graduate, Jessie Crawford, and find out what she's up to now after finishing her study at APC. Jessie, thanks for your time. How are you going today? Yeah, I'm good. Lovely to be here. Great. Really good to have you. And uh, your story is super inspiring. So why don't we start with what are you currently up to work-wise and obviously study-wise now? Yeah, so work-wise, I work for an awesome private company that does things like motocross events, equestrian events, as well as we did an awesome event called the Spartan, which is like a cool mud run with crazy obstacle courses. So I get to do that on weekends and work with registered paramedics, intensive care paramedics, as well as registered nurses. And during the week, I'm studying a batch of paramedics at Charles State University in Bathurst. So yeah, that's what I do during the weekend on the weekends. Wow, you've really hit the ground running, jumped right into the whole world of emergency healthcare and it sounds like you're doing fantastic and getting some great experience as well. Um, so well done, congrats. Now, what, what was it that led you into study um, emergency healthcare? Yeah, so I originally started in like allied health. So I did a bit of physio and OT and really enjoyed healthcare, but it wasn't quite right. So asked around lots of people and APC came up as a recommendation just to do some tertiary courses. And so started the diploma and absolutely loved it. Went through and really found that healthcare was really my thing, but emergency healthcare was exactly what I wanted to go to. So I did my first workshop and passed and absolutely loved it. Did my first set of placement hours, which I did patient transport, then did second workshop. And I decided with my second set of placement to kind of do a bunch of different things. So I did um, my event medic work with motocross companies. I as well did things like council events. I did some more patient transport as well as heaps of rugby games. So I kind of was like, let's throw into everything and see what I liked and absolutely fell in love with trauma and like motocross care. So after that, I was like, okay, cool. I really want to do paramedics. So applied everywhere, ended up getting really lucky and getting a place at CSU in Bathurst, as well as also getting a job with the company that I did placement on. So after placement, they were like, hey, we would love to offer you a position. And so I've been working with them ever since and absolutely love it. Fantastic. So you got into C you started with CSU before you finished the diploma, right? Uh, it just crossed over. So finished the diploma and then started a couple of weeks later. Okay. So, so nice transition. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. And do you think, was your diploma a part of, do, do you think it helped you get a place in, in uni? Yeah, so that was one of the big things on my application saying I have a diploma in paramedics and this is where I'm working. That really helped push me over the line and even well like well into my studies as a first year, it has helped me incredibly much. I've been able to get recognition of prior learning as well as the things that I'm learning now I've learnt before and can build on it. Mm. So I've learnt my basic foundation and I'm able to be more advanced and help other people and you know, do study groups and be able to really like use the base foundation that I have and build from it really well. Fantastic. So Jesse, would you have, what would you say to somebody just starting out or maybe even thinking about um, this field as a career? Um, what sort of advice would you give them to one work out um, whether it's maybe right for them and, uh, and you know, what avenues they should take. Yeah, for sure, someone just starting out, start small and get into the industry straight away, even if it's as simple as being an assistant for something or an receptionist, get into the industry and find what you like because you'll love something in healthcare because there's so much in healthcare, but it's finding what you're comfortable with, what you like, if it's that emergency healthcare, whether that's not emergency pa tra patient transport, whether that's state ambulance and whether you love the heaps of study at university or if you just want to do a college degree, you kind of figure out what person that you love and then making those goals and just keep pushing through because yes, for sure it can be hard, but in the end you'll come up with amazing qualification and you'll be in a job you love and are able to help people, which is really awesome.